Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another dope video for you guys. So before we start off, you guys might notice on the top left side, the name is Danny. Now let's talk about that for a quick second. Um, this is not permanent at all. Um, I lost the bet and I had the name change to Danny. Now I didn't know that it would actually, that there was a reset because I've only name changed twice before. This one costed 150 gems. And I did not know at all that there was any type of re like just cooldown at all for the names. So I'm actually going to be stuck with the name Danny for the first qualifier in NA for the World Championships tomorrow, which sucks, you know, because there's going to be a lot of spectators. Um, there's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of like, who, who the heck is this Danny guy? Where's Bobby at? It's just, it's just going to be super annoying. And that kind of leads me off into my second point, which is I won't be getting a video for you guys tomorrow. I know I didn't do one yesterday. I was practicing a ton and I doubt I can get one for you guys tomorrow unless I have some time later on in the day just because the World Cup starts at 2 o'clock and it's or the World Championship starts at 2 and it's likely going to be until like 10 or 11 p.m. So I'm going to have absolutely no time to make a video and this is extremely important as most of you guys know it's a $250,000 tourney. This is just the qualifiers and there's three sets of them but we want to win the first one just to kind of make a name for ourselves so we don't have to really focus too much on qualifying and more just bettering our gameplay and our skills but with that being said let's go into the actual topic of the video which is going to be piper in heist now piper is an absolute beast i personally think she's the best brawler in this meta right now i think she's the best mid i think she can be used in a lot of brawl ball maps and in a lot of heist maps we're just going to hop into safe zone uh, with the second Piper star power, which is very essential, and we're just going to play some games. I'm going to show you guys exactly how good Piper is. And with that being said, let's just hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing a decent comp. I don't know why we have a Tara on our team. I wasn't really looking at our team's comp beforehand. Probably going to tell him to go with Dinah or a tank after. But anyways, so let's talk a little bit about Piper and why she's so OP now. So basically... The meta. What is the current meta? The current meta is definitely not tanks. In fact, it is anything but tanks. Oh, we just get destroyed over there because it's hard to explain and talk at the same time. But anyways, it's literally anything but tanks. Like, tanks are just not good. Everything else is really solid and just outranges the tanks right now. The tanks definitely do need a buff. But what's the issue with brawlers that, you know, they counter tanks? They don't have much HP. And what counters something that doesn't have much HP? A Piper so a Piper can literally destroy anybody and you know she had a weakness before which was you know if she saw a tank a tank can easily just go up to her and be able to get a quick kill but no not anymore this new star power if you hit someone watch my screen watch her loading or, I mean watch her bars you gain them super super fast every time you hit an object this could be a safe this can be an opponent a turret a bear this can be anything you're gonna gain half your reload back and you can just spray away those Piper shots wild. You can just absolutely go at it. If you're going for a save, you can do 50% in like 10 seconds. It's absolutely unreal. It's super, super strong. And it, you can't counter it. The only way to counter it would be a tank, but you can't counter the tank with a new star power or a tank can't counter with new star power. So anyways, we're just going off on their safe. A little bit of juking over here. Hopefully we can get one more shot in there. We're able to kill the Piper body blocking, but we got the safe at 2%. Like, we're just absolutely dominating. We have a Tara on our team, but it literally doesn't matter because they can't walk near us or else I'm just going to two-tap them. Now, obviously, Danny, the guy, <laughs> star player, the name still throws me off so much. Obviously, Piper is a higher skill cap brawler, which means you have to hit your shots a lot. Um, you can't just, you know, go on a Piper and expect to hit anything. I'd also 100% recommend aiming with Piper just because the auto-aim it's not very, very effective with Piper, you know, at all. It's not very good. And, you know, if you're hitting your shots, you're just going to wreck anybody. So I definitely recommend practicing Piper. Don't just get into a game with her, queue up and be like, oh my God, like she doesn't work. You have to actually hit your shots. So play a couple, get your shot on, get a few practice games going. And that's where you're going to be like, find yourself to become an actually really, really effective player, especially with Piper. So here we go into the next game. And I briefly saw the names, but they're actually pretty good players. Again, two squishies on their comp because tank isn't really the meta right now and we'll just be able to take that out super super easily you guys can see the daryl over here has nowhere to go and we just you know we always have shots because we're hitting them so we're going to be able to hit a shot over there we should have been able to take out that dino a little bit of a shame that we weren't able to we're going to get a shot off on that safe and each shot does a ton of percentage too so that's also something not to be slept on also a great thing about piper which you know she's had the whole time is her amazing escape so she's actually like just able to escape really really well you guys can see i'm doing massive damage onto the safe over there 
But yeah, if you really get too close to anybody, all you can do is just jump away and get an easy escape on them. Just like so, the Daryl rolls onto me. I'm just gonna go, you know, back myself up and start hitting some shots. Oh, if I actually hit one. Um, something else that's really good to know is the distance to where auto aim actually works with Piper. So some distances there's a 100% hit rate. Um, so I definitely recommend learning that because sometimes you gotta, if you auto aim, you know, it's, it's just better. It's just a better option. You guys can see we're tapping. We still have our shots, even though we shot a bunch of them. Um, we do save our jump. Oh, that was a little bit of an interesting play. We save our jump for any attack. We don't really want to use it at all to go forward. Um, that's pretty useless. The only thing you want to do with it is jumping away from people. Probably should have shot the safe there. So again, we're just going to go away. We're going to get a shot off on him with our bomb. Missed a couple over there. Just going to go towards that auto aim distance and be able to hit a couple shots on him. Usain probably will be able to finish him off. I'm not sure. He's just going to roll onto him, okay? And again, we're in that distance. We're going to hit a couple shots. Just going to back off because there's no reason to be close to him. And again, let's just get close enough. We're going to waste Jigsaw's pull by hitting our shot. Now, again, you want to have your super so you can jump away from a crow in that scenario. Unfortunately, we didn't have ours, so we weren't able to do so. Where's this crow at? We still have a fairly big lead. So this is looking pretty good for us. This crow is coming close to us, but we're just going to target that safe. It's at 1 HP, we're going to take it out, and that's going to end the second game. So, although that game wasn't as good, we're still winning with, you know, a Gene on our team. Obviously, Gene isn't played in this map, just because Piper is super, super effective. We didn't hit as many shots as we wanted to. We only had, like, a 50% hit rate, I'm not sure. But anyways, that was still a good game, and it showed you guys a lot. So we're going to hop into the third game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And, again, another really, really strong team. Let's see how we can do with the Piper against them. Again, Jigsaw is playing kind of like a joke brawler, just expecting me to carry him, so I'm definitely going to be having to hit my shots this game. So let's see what we can do here. This Dynamite might jump over. Yeah, he's going to. Oh, he missed his jump over the wall. There he goes. We're going to be able to get one free shot off on him. We're not able to hit the next one, but we're able to hit this bull a fair amount. We're going to be able to get him down, and Jigsaw hopefully can go over and get him. I guess we're going to have to do that. Yeah, we're just going to shoot. Okay, so there's a... Okay. Let's just get rid of this. So we're going to get rid of that wall just because it opens up and allows us to snipe them way easier. I'm going to get rid of that over there. Trying to get some shots off. Going to be able to tap the Jesse. Almost got him again, but wasn't able to do so. We tapped the bull. The bull is pretty low. We're able to tap that Jesse again. Our Daryl is going to go in. And we're just going to shoot the safe because if anything, we get our shots back. If we hit something else, we're just, you know, we, we tapped them, we did a bunch of damage, and that's really it. There's no really negative con to aiming at the safe. This Jesse's trying to hit us, she's just going to miss. We're going to jump away and stay alive. Good heal over there by Jigsaw, which wasn't really a heal, it was more to do damage. Good roll over there by Usain. Hopefully we can take these guys out over here. We're able to get that kill. Really good heal over there by Jigsaw. And we're moving up, we have a 40% advantage, which is really, really good. We're tapping their Jesse, but he's also tapping us, which isn't very good for us over there. We actually kind of lost that little 1v1 exchange over there. We're going to move towards the safe just because we have some free shots on it right now. Good kill over there by Jigsaw. And again, we're just getting these max range shots. We're getting a ton of them because we're hitting the safe and getting them back. Their bull is going to charge on to us. All we need is one more shot to get it to 1%, and that is going to end the game. Now, it's a little bit hard to commentate over those games where we have to focus, but I also want to tell you guys as much information as possible on how you want to win the games and stuff like that. So we're going to head into this fourth and final game. Hopefully you get good competition like this. And yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our next game. And we're facing a pretty adventurous team comp, I want to say. It actually doesn't look that bad. They're not very squishy, but still a couple brawlers on their team that I can two-tap. Um, so let's see what we got here. We're just going to gain our shots back because we didn't hit any of our first two. I'm gonna go for this penny over here. I'm gonna give her a little bit of an auto aim shot. Okay, it's not in the distance. So we're just gonna try and go for this Nita. I guess Usain got him. So we're hitting a couple shots now, but still not the start that we'd want. We're able to tap that Piper and barely survive, so that's all right. So where's this Nita? I don't think Nita's very good for this map, to be honest. But we'll see. Okay, good jump and good roll over there. So we're just going to get our shots off onto the safe now. And you guys already know we're going to be able to destroy that safe with our shots. And if not, it's just going to be body blocked by an opponent. And they're going to be super low health. We're going to have to be able to take out 
this penny over here, or we can just jump, I guess, right over here and continue to do work. I did not know that there is a Piper in there, but even even if so, we still got an extra shot and hit the Piper, so it's not that bad. Already close-ish to my super, because it's only three shots, I think, or four. We're able to take out the Piper over there. Gonna be able to hit the Penny, hopefully twice, not gonna be able to. I'm just gonna move up over here and get rid of this wall, because they're using it to hide behind. The more open the map, the better when you're using a Piper, obviously. So we're gonna move up over here. Not sure exactly where they are. Okay, I guess this Nita just doesn't want to juke and it's going to walk in a straight line. Can we be able to get that tap on the Nita? I guess the Piper is going to try and challenge us over here. Usain's going to get a really good roll off. We could just stand in this corner and shoot the safe. That is an option, so I think I'm honestly going to just do that. We did a ton of damage. Usain should be able to finish it off. I expect him to. 2%. And 1-0. And that is going to end the final game. So that's going to be all four games. We did manage to get star player in all four. Um, Jigsaw surprisingly did not play like a bot today, which is pretty interesting, but you know, we still did even the carries, me and Usain. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video in Piper. If you guys want to see an in-depth tutorial on Piper, I'd definitely be down to do one. It's just a little bit harder to make. I'm looking to make them as professional as possible. So not just clips and stuff, like just actual proper gameplay and some analysis and stuff like that along with the numbers and statistics, even though like they, they don't really help, it's still good for you guys to know them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and that's gonna be it for today. Wish me luck for tomorrow because it's gonna be a very huge qualifier. And even, even if like there's a bunch of chances to qualify, we wanna be the first team to qualify, kind of making, you know, just make an impact on the scene. Just know that we're the team to be messing with. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's gonna be it for today and I will catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Peace.